Okay, so if you have your starting texture, create a background, take that texture and put it onto the background, and then set up the, uh, the little plane there so that when you import objects, they'll come in looking already in place. So um, here I get the uh, wither skeleton that I <coughs> modeled and rigged myself. Uh, I know I spelled wither wrong, but uh, cut me a little slack. Please. Uh, and then I scaled it down in the, uh, I don't know what you'd call those, they're the, uh, oh, and my computer takes a little while to load, so bear with me here. This is like the only tutorial on YouTube on 3D compositing, other than the Punishers, so cut me some slack, please. You can see I'm shaking the mouse in frustration. Okay, so in the ob or the coordinates tab, I scale them down. <clears throat> Then I rotate him around. Okay. I believe the next step is I create a plane. Just a plane, not a floor. Take that beginning background texture and lay it onto the plane. Change the projection to frontal. Right click, cinema tag, compositing. Cat check off cast shadows and click compositing background. Create a sky. Throw that background onto the sky. Cinema tags compositing again. Uncheck scene by camera. All right, and then we go into the... Oh, no, you set up your lights first. So you want to set up the uh, scene lights so that um, the shadows for your uh, uh, render will react the same way as the shadows in the video. And I use the books in the background as reference here. Always use... Uh, uh, make sure you have reference shadows so you know. And, and just in generally know where the light's coming from. I had a fan light uh, in my room. So that's what I used. And then I had a, another dimmer light in the corner from, I can't remember, I think it was a lamp, uh, no, a cl my closet, which was about half as bright. So I made the second light, not casting shadows, because you don't want to have double shadows. It just doesn't happen that way in real life. Made it half as intense as the uh, starting light. Now we go into the render settings, apply ambient occlusion, and global illumination, change those to low and make the output resolution the same resolution as your actual image. So set it up and uh, let's check out the final render for this bad boy.